No road trip is complete without a stop to Bucky's. We pick up two sandwiches, a brisket, and a sausage sandwich. They are so good. Next stop, Hruska. Um, not sure if I pronounced it correctly, but do stop by here if you're on your way to Austin. They make the best Danish. They're so soft, pillowy, just perfect all around. The blueberry was our favorite. Um, I do recommend that flavor, so do give it a try if you're in the area. Next up is Mozart. This is my favorite coffee shop place. They do have incredible desserts and the ambiance here is just so chill and relaxing. They have lots of sweets and coffee and also they have live music. So we picked up a sugar cookie and a strawberry cheesecake and a cafe latte. Um, we just ate here and just enjoy the scenery and the atmosphere. All right, now time to go find some lunch. Uh, we heard this pizza place, Home Slice has some of the best New York slice, so stop by and grab a pepperoni pizza for the little guy. And he's giving it a thumbs up, so that's the seal of approval. All right, let's go on our first hike. Um, gotta walk off all that food, so we are here at Lady Bird Lake. This is right by our hotel, and it's really nice trail. It's right by the lake, so you'll see people going canoeing, paddleboard, lots of fun all around. So next hike is Bull Creek Watershed. This one was a little bit tougher because I guess it rained earlier. So the grounds were a bit muddy and wet and it's a little bit more uneven, not flat as the first one. But the view is amazing. Can you see the waterfall?
So we're at brunch, it's Easter Sunday at Forthright. They make the most amazing coconut chia pudding. It has strawberry, granola, some kind of maple syrup on top. It's just so good. I need to try to replicate this. And we got some biscuit and gravies, a latte, and an avocado toast. Just look how they poach the egg to perfection. Just look at the way that yolk is running down. That is so beautiful. <laughs> All right, here's the last leg of our trip. We're at the getaway cabin. Our cabin is nestled in the woods. Um, the cabin is called Anthony. Each little cabin has their its own name. So it's sectioned off so you get a little bit privacy from your other neighbors. Let's go inside. Uh, as soon as you step in, you get the little mini kitchen. Here's our sleeping quarters. We got the bunk beds. If you didn't have the talk butt, then you would have a better view. They did also gave us a s'more kit free of charge. So this cabin comes with a bathroom, has towels, a toilet, and a shower station. Of course, Cooper's gonna have to claim the top bunk. Um, here's the s'more kit. It comes with your milk chocolate, your graham crackers, and marshmallow. So we're gonna do a little walking and hiking. We didn't go very far because the Cooper was already tired and he was ready to go roast those marshmallows. So they do provide these uh, firewoods for a small fee, so we got one bundle. So we're going to go ahead and start our fire and then uh, start roasting those marshmallows and cooking those hot dogs. Alright, we're able to have our fire started, so now we can start cooking dinner. Um, trying to get all this done before night falls and it gets too dark. So we picked up some hot dog, corn, steak, and afterwards we got s'mores for dessert.
So the highlight of the trip for Cooper was, of course, roasting the marshmallow and making the s'mores. That's him doing the smell test, not sure why. But um, these came out pretty good. I uh, wish the chocolate was a little bit more melty, but it was still good all the way around. All right, here's a taste test and it is a winner. Cooper approves with his little thumbs up. Of course, my husband has to come in clutch with his Reese's Pieces cup. I would say that's genius. So we're just enjoying and chilling the nights. And that's it for our trip. Hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys next time on our next adventure. Bye.